we often do on Wednesday, we'll hear from L.A. Mayor Garcetti on the city's coronavirus response. That's coming up at 515 today. But in past updates, he has talked about the uh, outdoor dining program. The Alfresco program is supposed to help struggling restaurants survive the pandemic. But as NBC4 I-Team investigator Joel Grover found out, the city has quietly put an important part of that program on hold. It's called the Down and Out Restaurant and Bar on Spring Street, and it's been mostly dark since mid-March when the pandemic began. Completely shut me down. Owner Vianne Sanderson used to serve 300 people a night here before she closed. Then she got a permit from phase one of the city's new Alfresco dining program to put some tables on the sidewalk. We got approved for all the way up to here. But that only allows her to serve about 12 customers at a time. It doesn't make sense to even be open. In late June, Mayor Eric Garcetti gave restaurants some new hope. And so now we're entering phase two, empowering businesses to set up outdoor dining on curb sites and closed streets. Garcetti said the LA DOT would issue permits to allow restaurants to place tables in parking spots and lanes in the street. The city would pay thousands of dollars per location for the barricades. Some restaurants, like this one in North Hollywood and this one in Koreatown, got that permission. Manager Michelle Kang. How helpful to the restaurant? is it to have tables outside. Without it, we wouldn't really even have a business. But as the I-team learned, phase two of the program has quietly been put on hold. Correspondence from the LADOT that we obtained says we are not able to approve on-street dining options for the Alfresco program, though there is no official statement at this time that the program is on pause. There was an announcement of a program, there was a continuation of a program, but the program, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to actually exist. Jacob Van Horn is a consultant who helps restaurants get curbside and in the street permits. He showed the I team his correspondence with DOT, in which a supervisor tells him, due to overwhelming demand for this program, we have exhausted our initial allocation of resources. In fact, the I team has learned the vast majority of restaurants who applied did not get phase two permits. I hate to say it for the first time in my life, I've had to consider personal bankruptcy. After the I-team started asking questions, the mayor's office told us it's now looking for new funding sources to resume issuing these permits. And LADOT told us it's considering allowing some restaurants to pay for these barriers themselves. That could cost each restaurant thousands of dollars. For the I-team, I'm Joel Grover.